right, so what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel and I've been messing around with some of the other phones I've had. I got like all my old Galaxies, like this is a Galaxy S5 Sport. Um, some of them will not work, some of them will. Uh, so we're going to go over the requirements for mining Varus and if you have some old phones, you can look it up because it might not be worth the time. Like I had to, for some reason, leave this thing plugged in for a absurd amount of time. I had to basically fully charge before it let me turn it on. Don't know why, but this thing hasn't had power in a long time. So it was surprising. Um, now, one phone that did surprise me is the Galaxy Note 5. And um, it actually mines pretty well. The only issue is it's a warm one. It, it gets a little gets a little warm. It's a little hot, straight up hot. Um, I did, let me flip this around, and I did end up uh, lowering the core count that's mining on the uh, Galaxy Flip. Some people were telling me to remove the back cover off of the Flip, uh, but the they don't really come off very easily, and they're like metal, and they're I think they're like form-fitted. Uh, so I don't want to break it. Um, so lowering the core count made it run cooler and it made it run stable pretty much all day today. So I was happy with that. Uh, I'd rather run a little bit lower speed and it be stable than constantly having heating or overheating issues uh, or potentially take the back cover off and break it. So let me show you guys that. And then I'll also show you the, the Note 5 that I've had to cut the cores down on that as well to make sure it doesn't overheat. All right, so before we get into the phones and stuff, uh, the big thing that I'm running into is a 64-bit processor. The Galaxy S5 Sport has a 32-bit Snapdragon 801. Um, yeah, and then uh, that's the Note 5. Yeah, uh, S5 Sport has the Snapdragon 801. And the 801 is a 32-bit architecture, and it's only a four-core. So uh, that is unfortunate because we're not going to be able to mine Varus on this. I might explore mining some other stuff, though, just to put her to work in some kind of way. Um, now, the Note 5 has a, what is it? Equinox or Equinos 7420. I looked that one up. That is a 64 bit and that's an eight core processor. Only drawbacks to this bad boy is it's a warm one. Um, right now, let me show you guys. Hold on. I just switched pools so the speed's not fully up. Where our uptime is only 5.05 .05 of an hour. Um, running six cores out of the eight cores and she'll stay below 40 degrees Celsius. It levels off at around 35 or 36 degrees Celsius. That's with no active air, just letting it sit up above uh, on this wood. Um, I have the, uh, the Galaxy Flip 2 right here running six cores and it's pretty much settled off at around 3.1 mega hash, give or take. And, um, and it, it stays around 30, Right now it's at 28, it's actually a little cool in here, but around low 30 degrees Celsius during the day, during the heat. Um, I actually installed the miner and I was running this on the default wallet address just to see how it was gonna do because I didn't know if it would just keep overheating. Uh, and, and then I knocked it down a couple cores and it seems to be six cores is, uh, is where it's happy. So we'll let that bad boy run. We're gonna let that bad boy run. Um, I don't, I'm no longer running it on my, um, my S9, uh, being that I have some, you know, day-to-day day -day stuff that I still use this phone for. Um, I don't want to run it on that just because it does, su it does suck the battery down, even if you have it just set on one core. Um, yeah, there's the S5 that does not work. I tried a couple of those tablets, and all the tablets I was running across, I have, like, the cheap Android tablets. Hold on, let me flip this around. Uh, I have a couple of the cheap Android tablets for my son. Well, I have two sons now, but... Um, so that way, like when we go on road trips and stuff, we have like Thomas the Train downloaded movies for him. Um, but every single one of them have, have, that, I, that I have has a 32-bit uh, processor. So none of them will run the Varus Miner, which stinks because I have like three of them. Uh, because we'll, we'll buy them anytime they go on sale. They're like 20, 30 bucks, like super cheap. Um, so that's unfortunate because we could absolutely 
throw those bad boys into the mine. Um, there's one more that I haven't tried. Uh, it was it was a cheap one though, so I imagine it probably does not have a 64-bit. People were asking me about iPhones and, and jailbreaking them and all that kind of stuff. I only have my daily iPhone and I don't want to get into that because that's, that's my main phone. Uh, so probably wouldn't suggest it. I, I don't know how they do though. Uh, I haven't really looked into it. Um, let's, let me pull up uh, the pool here and show you where we're at stat wise. All right, so here are my stats currently. Um, I just ended up, so Varus Miner is no longer mining, but it still has data on there. So it's gonna take a full 24 hours for that to fall off. Flip 2 and Note 5 are the individual phones. So the hash rate on that is spooling up as it goes over time. So starting at now into tomorrow, I should have a good 24 hour run with those. So we'll see where they're at and um, that kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, balance is 0 0.05, which is a whopping two cents. So um, we did, I believe this was when we had some internet outage uh, this morning. They got it fixed like midday. We had a bad storm just the other day, so they've been working on stuff. But uh, yeah, I, th I think we're I think we're somewhat solid now. Um, yeah, not not exactly sure. Um, but people were telling me I need to uh, take a look at the batteries because they will swell over time. And I was like, well, this is the A03S, and apparently this one has uh, the good battery, but. When I look, it says it has a LiPo 5000 milliamp, which LiPo is what, like, you know, that's what the Note 5 has, and that's what the Flip, the Z Flip has, was a LiPo. Um, but then I look at like an LG Tribute, because I have one of these phones, Tribute Empire, and this one has a lithium ion. Uh, and when I look it up, it says LiPo batteries are the ones that swell and lithium ion are not. So I'm wondering why people are recommending and saying that the A03S is the one that has the good battery and a good processor because I don't, maybe I'm, I just need to do some more Googling and maybe this website has the wrong information. I'm not sure. All right, I really need to find, I had two of these phones at one time because I bought them just to, to test out. By the way, everywhere that I look online says the A03S has a LiPo battery, not a lithium ion. So um, if somebody could be so kind to comment down below and let me know. But the Tributes have an eight core processor and they have a lithium ion battery. And then I looked up the CPU, it's the MT6750 and it happens to be a 64 bit CPU. So these should be able to mine um, Varus, and these were very cheap at one time. Let me, let me do some looking. All right, so looking online, these LG Tributes seem to be going cheap. There's a couple different ones. There's the Empire, there's the Dynasty, D-Y, Dynasty. I think the Dynasty has the same, uh, the M MediaTek, yeah, eight core MediaTek processor. Let me see if it's the exact same one or not. Um, yeah, the 6750, and that was the 6750. So it looks like the Dynasty was just a different name for different carriers, but it's basically the same phone. 25 milliamp, 2500 milliamp, small battery, um, but yeah, I, I really need to, I have these somewhere uh, packed up. I need to find these and test these out. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Just keeping that ball rolling, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully, I'll be able to take a look at these, because if we can, um, these, are, these are some cheap phones to pick up. They're all over the place for, like, nothing. Let's see. There's a Tribute Dynasty for 20 bucks, free shipping, 29 uh, $17, 27 I wonder if they mine well. I don't know. Only time will tell. Anyway, um, yeah, if you have one of these phones and you've tested it, please comment down below. I, I'm super curious. With that being said, I'm going to jump off here. I'll see you all on the next one. Adios.